Finally, we extracted the matters brought up and discussed in the discussion using the data recorded at the case studies. This slide shows the range of approaches of the lesson study. There are four elements of lessons which participants have already learned it, learned the matters involved the lessons, the knowledge and skills to understand students. How to think and use teaching materials and particulars of the learning environment in the nursing teacher training course. They will experience presentation lessons that explain these four basic approaches to lessons. For ethical considerations when including participants for open lectures, we explained the outline of the study orally and in writing, and we used the data from participants who expressed consent to the participation. Results. Participants were 10 novice teachers and six experienced teachers. Here, novice teachers are less than one year of experience. We collected 10 cases from novice teachers and six cases from experienced teachers. Please look at table one. This shows the party, uh, perspectives in the 10 cases and the basis for the discussion presented by the novice nursing teachers. In cases one and two, the focus relate, relates to themselves, teachers and students. Most of the matters discussed were questions and advice from the experienced teachers. Following the questions of experienced teachers, novice teachers incorporate the matter that are necessary to develop lessons. We itemize the comments like this. The novice nursing teachers described their thoughts and actions as well as student reactions to the teachers. They also state that it was not possible to understand the student reactions. In the discussion, the experienced teachers asked questions to learn of matters that the novice nursing teachers did not describe. Then, based on these matters, the experienced teachers state their perspectives, interpretations, and ideas of the situation assuming it is a situation in their classes and gave them advice on the teaching methods. Issues for the discussion were mostly about the situations of the students and in the curriculum, the learning progress of the students and questions about the process, which were mostly not expressed by experienced teachers. Following the questions from experienced teachers, novice teachers assembled the and integrated the matters that were necessary to develop and create lessons. Based on these generated results, the experienced teachers elaborated their opinions and observations for their classes and the ideas for the situation and advice on how to deal with the various matters. Please look at table three. This shows the titles of the six cases and perspectives in the cases and also the discussion presented by the experienced teachers. The teachers who have presented case at the study group here 
all have more than 10 years of experience of teaching. Teachers with seven years of experience have participated in the lesson study from the first year. Please look at table four. This shows the items of comments by experienced teachers. Experienced teachers explained the situations based on the perspectives one to nine in relation with other situations. The perspectives and issues of one and two listed in slide nine were presented by novice nursing teachers with less than one year of work experience and related to their own thoughts and as teachers. This suggests that novice teachers try to understand students from the reaction or behavior of students. It implies that novice nursing teachers do not think about practical lesson situations in relation to the teacher, students, teaching materials, or the learning environment. However, experienced teachers asked novice teachers about the actual situations related to one to nine. Being asked such questions, presenters of novice teachers may reflect on their own lessons and become aware of the issues they have not noticed during lessons. The cases of the experienced teachers elaborated how to develop lessons to support students learning by showing the relationships between the issues of the lessons. Experienced teachers also perceive the meaning and experience of student activities taking place in lessons from these materials. This may become an opportunity to understand that relationship between the visible visible and invisible facts of the cases in the lessons. The case study is a place where participants simulated, simulate the um, by, uh, development of the lesson based on the perspectives noted by one to nine and simulate an understanding of the actual happenings in the lessons and their evaluation. Summarizing, that suggests that lesson study using case study is effective to improve educational skills in teaching, including the teacher's understanding of students, the environment of lessons based on an understanding of the students and evaluation of the lessons. In this way, with case study in lesson study, teachers will be confronted by their inadequate skills to perceive the issues that are not obvious to the case presenter by having to solve the problems they are presented with. At the same time, teachers will simulate perce uh, perceiving the invisible relationships in lessons. Teachers will be able to apply their understanding gained through the simulation to understand students in classes and think about the teaching materials. Conclusions. Now, let me talk about our conclusions. Lesson study using educational cases reports offers opportunities where teachers will 
reflect on their own educational practices and organize educational perspectives and understanding at the stage of creating case reports. If experienced teachers demonstrate practical lessons at the discussion, novice teachers get to observe facts from various angles and learn practical thinking and methods to conduct actual lessons while interpreting the relationships between the facts. In other words, teachers will be able to develop student educational understanding by repeatedly discussing these cases of actual occurrences. Thank you very much for your attention. That's all. Thanks for your presentation, Doctor. If anyone had any questions, please go ahead. You can ask directly by unmuting your audio or else drop your questions in the chat box. Okay, this is a very interesting the, uh, topic. Can you hear me right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, yes, but excuse me. If are you okay, could you write in chat? Because uh, maybe I cannot understand you well. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm not I'm not a good right. English speaker. I will speak slowly because okay, thank you my very English much. is not very thank well. You. Okay. Okay, uh, thank you. It it is very interesting the topic. Um you study for the new teacher and the experienced teacher. And uh, sometimes uh, we have a nurse student, right? Yes. Student, um, maybe they have a, a, some question, but the new teacher maybe don't know how to answer the student question. Can mm -hmm. you understand what yes. I say? Mm -hmm. So, uh, what uh, the experienced uh, teacher can help the new teacher to do something? Uh, uh, how uh, you you say that uh, the experienced teachers? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, how experienced the teachers advise that? novice teacher yes uh, uh, there are many ways to show yes and um, one of them uh, is that the uh, the experienced teachers act by uh, herself uh, uh, show um, our action and um, I'm not how to do uh, experience to teach so novice teachers how to do uh, the as a experienced teacher, uh, the actual way uh, how to say or how to do uh, in that situation, and and then uh, novice teacher uh, understand by themselves and. Uh, ask to experienced teachers uh, that I think uh, uh, I I will do but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not uh, I'm not sure that way is not uh, good or not uh, how do you think about my action 
Uh, so novice teacher and experienced teacher uh, to uh, uh, ask and say and ask and say and that uh, uh, relationship is uh, good for grow up. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. uh, sometimes I, I, I will ask a student, a uh, new, new, new teacher, come mm -hmm. to my class. Mm -hmm. so, uh, oh, oh, yes, yes. Uh, I will share how to my teacher.